In this video, we're going to take a look at um, sales prepayments in Dynamics NAV 2017. So I'm going to begin by going to Departments, Order Processing, Sales Orders, and I'm going to create a new sales order. And I'm going to select my customer. I'm going to use 61,000. And when I uh, bring this up, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to sell a, an item to this customer. And my item number is going to be 1920-S. And uh, this is a non-warehouse enabled or a basic warehouse setup, so I don't need a location code or anything like that, just to illustrate what we're doing. I'm going to sell them a quantity of one of these. And uh, I'm going to make this at a uh, price of... Uh, $1,000 just to make this easy for us. So I'm going to drop down just a little bit here and we're going to take a look at uh, a couple of things. Payment terms are 14 days so this doesn't have any discount on it. The amount including t including tax, there's no tax being charged on this so this should be a nice clean transaction for us where we won't have to deal with any discounts or anything of that type. I'm going to go down to the prepayment area here, and I'm going to tell it that I want a prepayment on this of five, uh, 50%. So I'm going to enter 50% in here, and when I tab off of this, this will apply my 50% uh, prepayment to this particular invoice that I'm looking for. So if I scroll across here a little bit, I can see my prepaid percentage is 50% on this line. So we're all set to go here. This sales order is open. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go out and I'm going to actually apply, uh, I'm going to create a prepayment invoice for this. I'm going to go to Actions, Prepayments, and prepay, Post Prepay Invoice. So I'm going to select this. I'm going to say OK. And this now has created a uh, prepaid invoice for this. And notice it says uh, pending prepayment, which means I can't really do anything with this uh, until I've uh, received that prepayment. Once I've created the prepayment invoice, I can navigate to it. I can go to prepaid uh, prepayment invoices here. And I can double click on this. And I can see now that I have my prepayment of $500 out here that's required by this customer. I can go to Actions. I can print. I can export or send as an email, whatever we want to do. I'm just going to preview this so that I can uh, show you what this looks like. So this creates the prepayment invoice to send to your customer. So this customer prepayments, $500 out to the particular customer. Your, your invoices may look different than this, but that's the process to create the prepayment invoice. So I'm going to close this up, and uh, what happens now is that the uh, we send out the invoice, the customer sends in a check, and now we re record the cash receipt against this. I'll minimize this sales order for us, and what I want to do is go to Cash Receipts. So I'll take my Cash Receipts Journal. I'm going to use the one for the bank here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in as a payment. And uh, this is going to be against a customer. It's going to be customer 61,000. Now, one of the things that I th that's very important about this, if you want to tie all this stuff out, where this says description, this is the description of the customer here. But what I'm going to do is put in prepayment for SO. 1007, which was my sales order number. I'm going to make this uh, against the bank, because so I'm going to deposit money. And I'm just going to go into my Applies to Document number. And this is the only one that I have open. So I'm just going to say OK. And that brings my payment in for me. So I have my payment amount of $500. And I'm going to post this. So I'm just going to go to Post. And I'm going to post this payment. Now, what this did is this actually applied that money against the, uh, the open invoice. So if we come back to our sales order, we can take a look at this customer. And this will take us to the customer's account. 
we can navigate here to ledger entries and what we'll see is that we have these two transactions that took place. So we have an invoice that says prepayment invoice sales order 1007 for $500 and then here is the payment and it says prepayment for sales order 1007. These two have been applied against each other and their balances are currently zero. I'm going to uh, minimize this now and what I want to do is I want to look for customer statements so and uh, if this uh, these, these transactions had taken place at the end of the month uh, this is before the actual order has been invoiced I'm going to put in some dates here I believe that this uh, invoiced in 22 because this is a, a demo system out here I have to check include all customer ledger entries because there's no balance on this I'm going to uh, change my print output here to preview and I'm going to enter this for vendor, uh, customer 61,000 and now when I print this customer statement it probably won't look like yours but you'll get an idea that of how these appear. So on the customer statement I see on the days that these took place I see a an invoice entered in here for $500 and then I see their prepayment for this for uh, the offsetting entry and their total balance is zero. So both the invoice and the payment show up on the customer statement. So I'll close this up and I want to go back to my sales order now and I think I still have it down here so this is my sales order um, this says status um, pending prepayment but once that uh, that has been uh, the payment has been uh, received then I can actually release this so I click my release button and now this order is released so I can actually go out now and post the invoice itself so in order to do this I'm simply going to go to post and I'm going to ship and invoice this and this has created a posted sales invoice it asked me if I want to see it I'm going to say yes and from here I can now actually print this invoice to my customer and if you notice what this has actually done is that it's put a new GL line on here for the customer prepayment and it's put in a quantity of a negative one for 500 bucks so it's reduced this down their total bill now is still only $500 so if I go to um, actions and print I can print out the uh, invoice for the customer I'm going to just preview this and your invoice will look different than this but you can see that we have the original invoice for a thousand dollars less the customer prepayment of five hundred dollars total balance due is five hundred dollars so this completes the cycle and uh, actually on all the documentation going to and from the customer it reflects this uh, prepayment so if I uh, close this up and uh, I get out of here for a moment and I go back to customer statements when I print the customer statement now this customer will have a slightly different view they'll uh, they'll see the balance of the uh, the amount that they owe but everything will show up on here uh, so that they they can actually I'm gonna set this to preview and I'm gonna bring in my customer you'll actually see the uh, the full transactions here with documentation sort of backs them up so if we go into here and print this statement <coughs> although it looks different than yours you can see we have a prepayment invoice for the sales order of five hundred dollars we have a prepayment for it of five hundred dollars and then we have the actual order the invoice for the order itself for five hundred dollars and their total balance now is the five hundred dollars so this uh, these transactions are all reflected on the customer statement Thank you for watching. If you like this video, remember to click below and subscribe for more.